Now what I fear is iron filings. And iron filings are magnetic, right? Huh? Can you see? <laughs> I find it magnetic. Right? Of course, these are very powerful rare earth magnet. And of course, you will not come down. Yeah, okay, so it's magnetic. So, what we're going to do is we are going to put in cupric sulfate, which is actually copper to sulfate solution into iron filings. Okay? So what we need to do is we have a blue, blue, copper to socket. And then when we pour it inside, the blue copper to sulfate solution will, will turn color. Can you see? that it is turning the blue color disappears <coughs> and the reddish color that you see is the copper that was displaced from here right and when you display some more then it turns into a greenish color can you see Okay, this is a little bit greenish, although you may not see it as greenish, but it is actually a bit greenish. Now it's a bit greenish, which means that all the copper from here has been displaced out. And this is a bit greenish. Is it a bit greenish? Yeah, this is because <coughs> iron 2 plus ions are inside. And iron 2 plus is greenish. Okay? And the reason why the iron went into the solution and copper came out is because iron is more reactive than copper in the reactivity series. Right? So that's what happened. But however, copper is not magnetic. Tell me why that I still can put this there and then it can still attract it. Tell me why. Copper is not magnetic, but why is it? It looks for the iron part is red. Inside. That's right, because in this reaction, you have a solid reactant, which is the iron filings, and then the copper comes out and coats over the iron filings. Is that clear? Because reaction occurs at the surface of the iron filings. So it coats over, and the solid product coats over the solid reactant. Can you see? So although we see that as if this is only copper, but it's actually copper coated over the existing iron filings. Yeah.